Welcome to the Hawaiian Islands, everybody. My name's Jason Yoder. This is my channel where I share with you my passions that I have for both travel and photography. Now, if you haven't done so already, click that subscribe button because I also share with you how I pay for all this. So I was going to get up this morning and do a morning photo shoot, but a little flight delay got me in late. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna drive around Oahu, uh, do some location scouting for um, uh, my next morning and evening photo shoots. And also we're gonna put the drone up and get some epic images. So if you haven't done so already, click that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Let's do this. Hawaii is paradise. This is my fifth time on the island of Oahu. Trust me, if I could run my business from here, I would move here. There's just something about the trade winds and warm sun that just makes me want to stay and never leave. How can you not want to be in a beautiful place like this? Here at the Makapu'u Lookout is where I saw the DJI Mavic 2 Pro drone for the first time. It cut through the wind shear above these cliffs without any problems, much to the surprise of the drone's owner. The rocky coast below is essentially inaccessible, but that's not a problem if you have a drone. Something that I thought would be cool when I saw the drone for the first time is could it make it all the way out to Rabbit Island? Well, yes it can. I have a one mile safety limit on my drone but had no problems getting out there. Drones truly have the ability to transport us to places we physically cannot go. So we just flew the drone off the Makapuku Point. I believe it's called Makapuku Point. Uh, but anyhow, that's where I saw my first drone here in Hawaii, and it was also a Mavic uh, Pro drone as well. So that's kind of cool. I got to fly mine from up there, captured some really epic images. There's a small island out here that I've always wanted to see up close, so I got to see that one up close as well. We're on the northeast side of the island right now. This is the windward side. It is more remote, a lot more rugged, and definitely void of all the tourists that you see in Waikiki. One of the big reasons why I'm doing location scouting out here in Oahu is that I'm hoping that after I retire from the Navy and I've had a chance to grow this channel that I can start doing photography tours for adventurous photographers like myself. So this is just part of the process of trying to locate those incredible places to capture images. But of course when you're on these tours you also need to feed people so we're going to go and try out a local restaurant. So it's lunchtime, we're getting a little hungry here, and we just found a roadside restaurant, very local looking roadside restaurant. We're gonna give it a try. Something I could never understand is when people travel, why do they go to the same chain restaurants and chain coffee shops that they have in their hometown? Try the local places out, especially if they got Kahlua pig. Now my lunch is looking pretty good, but let's check on mom. All right, mom, show us the noodles. Translucent. Translucent noodles. Good. So let's see what you think. Yeah. Well. I'm eating hands. <laughs> okay, so I took the number 17, which is the mini, I think, how do you pronounce it? Kalua. Mini Kalua pig. Which is perfect for me to stay on the uh, fitness program I'm on. Mm. <laughs> oh, so good. So we pulled over, I think it's called Kalua Oh, Kalua Oh, my God. I'm just going to put it down here at the bottom of the screen. Uh, a park here. 
that I found about 15 years ago and I was hoping to fly the drone out to an island and I think they call it like China Manhat Island something like that but unfortunately you can't fly drones here uh, but we're still taking a look at it as a potential sunrise location so I just checked my sun position map and this is a sunrise location. If you want to shoot the sun rising over the ocean with that island in front of it. But it looks like the best time of the year for it is going to be between the beginning of November and the end of February. So keep your eyes open. Just the ocean's not the only thing here to photograph. So I'm actually going to fly the drone through this opening in the trees just to try and get some more stock footage. All right, so we found the famed North Shore. It's winter, so there is a lot of big waves. So I'm gonna try and put the drone up, not too low to the water, but see what we can get out here. the traffic jam to I think it's called La Kenaya uh, Beach this is where I filmed the sea turtles my last trip out here uh, if you guys want to see that just click on the link right here and I'll take you to it but we struck out there's no sea turtles out here today for me these islands are simply paradise an endless supply of warm sun dramatic coastlines and endless landscape photography possibilities there's nothing like the Hawaiian Islands this place is a landscape photographer's paradise. Where have you shot in Hawaii? Leave me a comment so I know where to location scout on my next trip back. I'll be revisiting some of these locations and more over the next few weeks. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel and ring the notification bell. Here is a glimpse of the next episode.